Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So I recently got a question about uh, NX's new measuring tool and I want to um, kind of elaborate a little bit on it. It's basically how do you get a delta distance, okay? Um, in the old days, you know, you measure a distance and you could go to the information window and it would have the deltas, the XYZ deltas and all that fun stuff. Now, um, again, because they've changed it a bit, and I, I think it's an incredible improvement, I'm just going to go into the measure tool. Um, what you need to do is you need to make sure you have your measurement method set correctly. In this case, I'm going to do free. And then I also want to measure a distance. I don't want to measure a body. Then I'm going to specify my vector. The vector can be picked at any time. So in this case, I'm just going to pick that vector, and then now I'm going to say object. Well, what objects do I want to measure? So I'm going to pick this face, and I'm going to pick, we'll go all the way out to that face. And you'll see I get my uh, minimum projected clearance. So this is telling me the distance along that vector. If I came in here now and were to remove that vector, you'll see I get the minimum distance. I can also change this to a maximum distance between those two faces. You can see from that corner to this point up here, that's the maximum distance. Uh, go back to minimum distance. Then I realized, oh, you know what? I did want a vector all along. I'll just come into vector and specify the vector. So um, you can see the vector can be picked at any time. As long as you have the measurement method set correctly, as long as you have the result filter set correctly, you can, you're going to get your vector. So make sure you have your um, method and re filter res or result filter set up. So now you'll notice there's object 2, there's object 3, there's my vector. If I want to pick additional objects, this is where if I came in here and said, okay, I want to pick, let's say, this face to measure. So I'm going to say, instead of a vector, say object, and then pick this face. You'll notice that it kind of falls over. So there's no chain mode. There's no set reference object or anything like that. None of these are going to work with a vector direction. You'd have to actually measure from face to face to face to, um, uh, to get... Uh, the reference object to work, but without a vector, and so it won't do the won't do the vector bit for you there. Um, if I want to do something like that, you'll notice if I pick, it automatically changes the uh, dimensions that I have in there. And again, I still have the vector in there; it hasn't done away with it. So um, you'll see the dimensions now work because I'm measuring from my initial set reference. Okay, so even if I reorder the vector to the top, you'll see nothing. If I move this down, right, it's still not giving me um, that uh, chain reference. If I go back over here, you'll see, oh, wait a minute, it's not going to work. All right, so I just come over to this cat and then just remove that. You'll notice the direction in, uh, for the distance is now set, and because I have the two objects selected, it goes in and works and applies that dimension. So, it's a, uh, you know, in this case, just a minor, I'd say just a minor limitation, not really that big of a deal, but uh, it works great. If you really wanted to measure off of a planar face like this, I would recommend, um, and you wanted the reference chain to work, then use a datum plane, okay? If there's a datum plane on that face, if I just do a measure from a datum plane, like that, just make it bigger, and then now I go in and do my measurement. And then I say, all right, I want to measure from that to this face. You'll see, oh, I have to change my type. Remove that. You'll see that it does kind of sort of what I just had. So if I, if I come in here and pick another face, me, uh, say from reference, the first one is the reference. You'll see now it gives me my direction in that distance. But, you know, if I'm picking two random faces that aren't orthographic to anything, I, I can get the minimum distance along a vector direction. It's nice. I can't do multiple objects at once, but, you know, in, case, in a case like this, if you did have a datum plane set up, you can use that as a reference, and then it will always give you that minimum distance based off of the plane normal. So, um, it, does a, it does a nice job. So, again, a minimal limitation. Absolutely minor limitation in that it doesn't do multiple objects along a vector, but I honestly don't think that's really important. Um, pretty much everything else with this tool has been absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned something, and if you did, like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you uh, haven't already, and I will see you soon.